Hey everyone, it's Mary DeMuth and this is Pray Every Day where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. We're currently going through the first book of Timothy and then we'll go into 2 Timothy. Right now we are in chapter 4 verses 1 through 5 in the Phillips translation and it says this, God's Spirit specifically tells us that in latter days there will be men who abandon the true faith and allow themselves to be spiritually seduced by teachings of the devil, teachings given by men who are lying hypocrites, whose consciences are as dead as seared flesh. These men forbid marriage, command abstinence from food, good things which in fact God intends to be thankfully enjoyed by those who believe in him and know the truth. Everything God made is good and is meant to be gratefully used, not despised. The holiness or otherwise of a certain food, for instance, depends not on its nature, but on whether it is eaten thankfully or not. It is consecrated by the man who has accepted the message and thanks God for food. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, keep us aware, keep us cautious, help us to become discerning people. Lord, um, there are people out there who are abandoning the faith and they are being seduced by teachings of the devil. Um, Lord, your ver- the verses here call them lying hypocrites, so they're not telling the truth and they're not living as they should. And so Lord, I pray also that you would, um, in these latter days, that you would expose those who are deceiving, the wolves in sheep's clothing, those who are lying hypocrites, those who are in positions of leadership but not telling the truth, who are in positions of leadership but not living the truth. Lord, um, you say that their consciences are as dead as seared flesh. Lord, shed your light on them. And if we are to help in that somehow by um, being discerning or uh, investigating or whatever it means, Lord, help us to be a part of the solution. And Lord, I also pray that you would help us not to be deceived by those who are lying hypocrites. Instead, Lord, help us to be like the Bereans, to test everything that people say by the word of God. Lord, I also thank you for the second part of these verses, which talk about kind of this aesthetic of um, denying yourself. And I know that you say that we should deny ourselves, take up our cross and follow you, but this is not talking about aestheticism or um, trying to uh, make kind of work our way to having you love us. Um, Thank you for food. Thank you that we can enjoy it. Lord, I know that as someone who's battled disordered eating in the past, um, I have put um, positive and negative um, monikers on specific foods, and I've deemed some as evil and some as not evil. And Lord, instead, help us to live grateful lives and to trust you for the food that we're putting in our bodies. Lord, help us to realize that we do have um, responsibility to take care of the temple that you've given us. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And so help us to bless our bodies with food that is good, but help us not to become obsessive about it so that we um, we become enslaved to how we see food or how we eat food or when we don't eat food or any of those things. Lord, I pray for those today who are battling body image issues where they look in the mirror or they look at images around the internet and they feel less than. This is for men and women. Lord, that you would help us to realize that we are um, we are made in your image. We are beautifully and wonderfully and perfectly made. And we all have flaws, 100% of us. None of us is perfect. And we can rest in the fact that you love us as we are. Just as a parent loves their child, no matter what they do, you love us no matter what we do. But you love us no matter matter how we look. Um, That's not important. You said that God sees us as differently than a man sees. You look at the heart and we look with the eyes. And so, Lord, I also pray that you today would help us to look at people not in a judgmental way or not in a dismissive way, not with our eyes, but that every person we lay eyes on today, we would say in our hearts, that person is an image bearer of the Most High God. They are worthy of dignity, respect, and kindness. Lord, sear that into our hearts today. Be with us in the struggles that we have with food, but also help us to turn outward and love those 
um, out there who need to know that they're loved by you. I pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you're having a great January 6th. 2019 and I would love to have you celebrate with me as we approach the second year of Pray Every Day. That will begin on February 1st and at the end of that episode we're going to have testimonies from all over the world on how this podcast has been helpful to you and so I would just strongly encourage you to go to marydemuth.com. Upper right hand side you'll see a little microphone and you can record a story up to five minutes, a testimony of what this podcast has meant to you. And so um, Trisha Goyer, <laughs> this is me asking you because I know that you've been a really great um fan of this podcast so uh anyway we're just gonna that's gonna be a really long episode because we're gonna have your testimony if you want to be featured i would love it so all you need to do is just say your name where you're from and then give your little testimony thanks so much so much and have a great day